Good day everyone. This is the provision refer. We need to top up the oil. This is the low suction and then high pressure suction monitoring or pressure gauge. This is the controller. The service right now is number one. This is the isolation valve for pumping down. I have a video about pumping down and how to do this. But here, here in this video, we need also to carry out pump, pumping down. You need to close this valve. Pumping down again is to collect all refrigerant going to the receiver. Just close this valve and then the refrigerant is collect all refrigerant is collected to this receiver there is a side glass on it and then you can monitor our compressor right now is still running and then we will wait after the low suction pressure switch activated that's the time we we need to start tapping up but right now we need to observe our pressure switch if the pressure switch is working this is the time that we need to test also the pressure switch just monitor but if below zero if below zero the pressure switch is not activated just just stop the compressor and then rectify the pressure switch but in this situation I need to know if this is this pressure switch is working but last time I already pumped down the system I'm pretty sure there are low pressure switch is working our system is still running as you can see the compressor is running and then this pressure gauge low pressure gauge is almost reaches the set point and we need to wait but while waiting we need to check the side glass if the refrig refrigerant is increasing or getting higher because it the refrigerant is collect at the receiver this is the side glass we need to use a flashlight so that we can check the level but for now almost reaches the reaches the set point and then we need to prepare we need to prepare the filling line for the oil this valve is three-way this filling line is three-way we need to open this one the brand name of the oil recommended is shell this is the pump that we need to use for the specific specific recommendation of your company and you have a list of oil in the data sheet that is recommended our compressor stops and then our pressure switch is working very good that is the set point the set point is same with the setting of the low pressure switch and then we need to check in the controller as you can see the anti-recycling is blinking it means it is triggered with a pressure switch low pressure switch This is our pump and then we need to bleed first before we fill up oil so that 
we will remove the air at the hose then we connect we connect the hose to the charging valve or charging valve and then close this valve it means if you close this valve the filling filling of the oil is going to the compressor going directly to the compressor okay this valve is need to close if you charge or fill fill up oil after the valve is closed we need to fill up by pumping the manual pump note the side glass must be the level of the oil in the side glass is almost full or three-fourth as per manual okay the level is good we need to open this valve after filling up and then after this valve is opened we can remove the charging hose safely we need to secure all cups and then double check all valves and parameters the oil is good and then we need to open this isolation bulb after opening this isolation bulb it will give pressure to the compressor and then the compressor must start because if you open this valve you you will release the refrigerant going to the compressor okay automatically start the compressor is automatically start triggered by low pressure switch it means it has a pressure and then the compressor is running okay all parameters are good and then okay compressor number one is running about 6 amps this is the refer compressor all cups must be put it back properly and that's all I hope you learn from it and then I have I have a separate video about pumping down and then you can browse my playlist thank you I hope you learn a small idea from this system thank you very much